Alrighty, y'all. Hello. We're taking a look at a pretty interesting video today. We're looking at Amsterdam's seamless traffic flow. Now, I've heard quite a bit about the efficiency and kind of just amazement of Dutch traffic, or so the masterful expertise on the subject. So, as someone from the US of A, right, who has many strengths and many weaknesses, uh, let's say traffic flow and efficiency, uh, I'd say is not one of our strengths. <laughs> the only times things go smooth here if, is if you're on the highway or the interstate. Then it seems to be, other than a few goofy drivers here and there, it seems to be pretty smooth. Unfortunately, it's when you get to our cities where it becomes very much multiple hazards, long lights, a lot of sitting and idling, and, uh, well, quite frankly, not many pedestrians out of fear and lack of infrastructure and, of course, of very stark lack of bicycles. I've always loved riding bicycles, but you have to basically take a bike path, you know, dedicated places that are basically away from the road or parks or whatever uh, to feel relaxed while riding them. Riding them uh, through the city for function and actual transportation is just... Uh, seemingly too risky for most people. So let's get into this video from Bicycle Dutch. This is basically looking at, I'm told, a intersection in the Netherlands in a pretty busy intersection. And I wanna see how it compares to a few busy intersections I can think of here in the US. This will be linked down below so you can watch the whole thing uninterrupted and definitely browse your channel as I will be doing after this. <sighs> Looks like the sun has just set. Look at this, oh my God. <laughs> well, look at that. The two cars, we or well, vans and SUV we just saw are going nice and slow. They're being cautious. Dude, this literally looks like something out of a movie. <laughs> I know it's like real life, just a random night in Amsterdam. Look at this, oh my God. Okay, now the trams go. Gotcha. Look at this. We have mopeds, scooters, bikes. Look at all the people. Dude, I have never seen that many bicycles in my life in the last 30 seconds. <laughs> Look at it though. People with dogs, people walking. Look at that. That, that looked like a kid on a bike. Right in the middle of traffic. This is insane. <laughs> you have to realize you might be laughing at me, wondering why is he laughing? Like what's so fascinating? This might be normal for you. And if it is, well then props, you know, more power to you. You have to understand that this is not normal in certain places. In any American city, I'm sorry, like that's not gonna be the strengths, you know? There are things to like. Maybe if you if you find certain things about big American cities, but you know this kind of intersectional safety and flow and efficiency is not one of them. For here and there throughout my life, sometimes uh, complaining about how long lights take, especially in Illinois, my home state, uh, it does vary state to state. I know that's really weird, and Illinois is one of the worst ones. I actually saw there is studies on this. The yellow lights are very short, so they're dangerous. And the red lights are extremely long. And it's amazing how you can just sit and watch everyone just sitting still. No one's walking. No one's driving. Then finally, one side will turn green. Of course, you know, American intersections, you know, a four-way perfect intersection, perfect cross with 90-degree angle turns. And basically, other, other than right turn on red at 98% of intersections, is, is a godsend here. Um, that's the only way you can kind of coast through an intersection relatively qu quickly with just a quick stop, check, and then you can go. Other than that, you are sitting there forever idling and it's boring and inefficient. It ends up taking very long to get places, even though you're in a car. Seeing this uh, and then picturing, you know, multiple intersections on your commute, if you are in this city right here, you're just cruising and cruising and cruising. You get to the intersection, you cruise right through. At most, you might have to stop for literally, it looks like a few seconds for the tram to pass through, and then you go on your way again. This is literally mind-blowing for me. So here's another intersection or another angle, I'm not sure. 
everyone's moving. And the people who sit still, sit still for literally five to 10 seconds at the most, and then they're moving along again. When I'm sitting at a red light, I time it. I'm sitting there for literally two and a half, three minutes. It's, and that adds up big time. If I'm going somewhere only six or seven miles away, which is not far at all in a car, right? City and suburban roads rather than highway, um, it's gonna take a long time because there's gonna be a lot of stoplights and intersections. This is just so fascinating, man. You can get places really fast on a bicycle, I'm assuming, and that's why it's so popular. It's just so different. <laughs> and the, the few cars that we see, now we do see cars over on kind of this other road you can see in the, in the background over there. But these few cars that are passing through here, they're, what do you know? They're careful, they're respectful. They obviously have studied the rules of the road. They're not flying through on their phone, eating a burger running over people <laughs> dude this is so crazy can't believe it the amount of people that this is moving through this intersection and no one's having to wait around Dude, it is literally like watching stuff out of a movie. I know it sounds weird. It's just so like, you see all these people crossing and going, and whoosh, whoosh, but like no one hits each other. Everything seems controlled and safe. Seeing people commute to school and work and all this stuff on a bicycle on a daily basis in the U.S. is so ultra, ultra rare. Whereas here, it's clearly the norm. It's just so cool. I would love to be able to do that and then take a car every once in a while because I want to. Right? Um, this is just, it's so cool, dude. <laughs> like the amount of people for you to count, for you to go back to the beginning and play this. I, I mean, it's gotta be a couple thousand or more people cross through this intersection in just a few minutes. Look at that, oh my God. Look, the people, they crossed. These people walking didn't even have to interrupt their stride at all. They walked across. They didn't fear for that car that was coming in. That car yielded to them properly, right? Now, of course, there are good drivers here that would yield to pedestrians, duh. But the problem is you just never know. There are a lot of bad drivers as well who act entitled. And it, is, it almost seems like certain roads and certain interactions it's like oh the car has the right away we skipped around there so yeah if you want to watch this whole video in in one smooth loop uh go ahead and click the link down there and, and check them out that is crazy that is just a glimpse at some natural unedited you know no voiceover just just traffic in amsterdam and just setting up a camera and looking at traffic at an intersection is, is that fascinating for me? <laughs> this is just so, so not what an intersection would be like. It's just not what it's like in the United States. Not at all. Very fascinating. Um, you know what? Sometimes doing glimpses into kind of daily things like this can just be very interesting. Uh, it differs in different places in the world. Yeah, I think you guys have already heard this. You probably already know this, but yeah. Round of applause for... For the Dutch, um, they just, uh, their city designs, their streets, you know, the whole culture with transportation, the different options, of course, of biking, walking, all these things. It's very fascinating. And I, I think it's obviously an inspiration for other places to, in, in whatever capacity they can, try and emulate, right? Or, or be inspired by. It's, it's really cool. What I find interesting is if someone, ever, you know, for the people that ever, you know, live in Amsterdam or live anywhere in the Netherlands and, and deal with this awesome efficiency, um, for them to travel to the U.S. must be very, <laughs> must be very alarming, right? It must be a wild experience to go from that to what you would experience here. I appreciate you being here and watching. I hope you have a great weekend. That's all I got for you in this one. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. And until next time, y'all, we'll catch you later.